Brooke McQueen and her posse, they're a cult. Once you join, you're a goner. Why does that girl keep looking at me? It creeps me out. Who is she, anyway? Who? Sam McPherson? Yo, homegirl sits beside me and gives off this air like she's so superior. It's sad, really. You can tell it's just a cover-up. I actually feel bad for her. She's trapped in her own personal persona prison, but she can't show that. And that's why she's so thick. Funny. When you try to pretend you're something you're not, it's just a sign of low self-esteem. Total low self-esteem. Samantha McPherson, Brooke McQueen. now for utensils and we have to use this red marker to map red on green <laughs> christmas kind of toady <laughs> that's so hilarious oh my god <laughs> on our date will we You know, you didn't have to do all the work. I, I was going to help out. It's okay. Sounds like a blast. Yeah. So, hey, you figure out how to land an invite to Brooke's party? What is your deal with Brooke McQueen? You're totally obsessed. No, no, that... Brooke! Brooke! I'm Sam McPherson. Sit oh, yeah. next to you in bio. Yeah, hi, how are you? Oh, well, and you. You know Harrison, John, right? Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. No, I mean it, um, really. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll see you in bio. I'm really clueless about what's going on in there. Probably end up getting a B or something. Maybe we could get together sometime and, and study. Sure. How about Friday? I can't, um, I'm having this party. Oh, okay. Uh, well, wait, um, did you want to come? Maybe. I'll see. <sighs> okay. Whatever. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Did I just hear an invite? <laughs> Sam! <Whoa. laughs> what are you doing here? Is this about lab or something? Because can't it just wait till school? This really isn't a good no, time for No, you. it can't. Brooke, we're talking about something right now. I want to know why my friends and I weren't invited to this party. Wait a minute. Why are you barging in here and making a scene? Why aren't you wearing your tiara? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but you don't know anything about me. You know what, Brooke? Cancel my subscription. I'm over your issues. I know enough. I know that you hurt people and make them feel bad about themselves and cause division. Really? Because you and your friends, you sit at your own table at lunch. You're a total click. So don't walk in here and judge me for doing exactly what you do. Why don't you just admit it? You think you're better than me. You know what, Brooke, the truth is, you're not. I think you should leave because you're way out of line here. And if I don't? <laughs> Hi, Brooke, I think you should give her in when I saw the commotion. Okay, people, listen up. The first order. Is there anything special I can whip up for you? I have newt, perhaps? You know what? Anything Barbie works up at our Easy Bake Oven will dinner party coming. Actually, it's really great. You know, I was thinking about using your article for placement so that my dad could see exactly what kind of person you are. Brooke, I know it's hard for you to believe that the world doesn't orbit you, but that editorial was written out of obligation to the truth. Obligation to the truth. That editorial was completely unfair. <laughs> I can't believe that there's actually a time that I thought we might be friends. <laughs> you never thought that, did you? Well, I guess you'll never know now, will you? Oh, I, I cannot believe I almost got sucked into your gravitational pull. Oh, uh, Ginger, Marianne, we're not at home watching Ricky Lake talking back to the hoes and freakouts. Shut up and get Dyson. Oh, and Miss Lily. What are you doing, Sam? Are you spying on me?
Are you looking for some more filthy dirt you can fling around in an editorial? No. And Brooke, you just have so many nice things and there are so many people at our school who have nothing but their pride. And every day you chip away at it, you take that too. When is enough enough for you? Just get out, Sam. And FYI, put away your mental tape measure because you are never moving into this room or this house. You or your mother. My father died two years ago. Did you know that? My mother loved him very much. Did your mother die? No. She left. With you as a daughter, it's easy to see why. Look, I'm sorry I slapped you. No, I... I deserved it. When I got home last night, my dad was a wreck. He was just sitting in his chair, watching his favorite The Best of Johnny Carson tape. Yeah, I, I know. All my mom said to me this morning was a very distinctive hurt. Thanks. I didn't listen to her or how she felt. I guess they really love each other. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's you and me. Two people who really don't like each other at all. Well, this ought to be interesting. achieves, she could still be humbled by something larger and more powerful. It's interesting, isn't it? Guys say don't wear very much makeup and then the magazines say, no, you need it, because without it, you just look mousy and plain. <laughs> the girl can get pulled in a lot of different directions these days, huh? So many evil plots to plan, so little time. Wow, even nominal chit-chat with you just goes straight to the gutter level, doesn't it? <laughs> Why do I even try? Don't go to Carmen's party, Brooke, please. Sam? I actually like Carmen. I mean, she's dis disposable. What? Finish your sentence. Would you rather us hurt her feelings by just declining the invitation? See, somehow, I don't think this is about Carmen's feelings. Carmen thinks perseverance will get you to accept her, but I don't think so. I think you're going to try to destroy her, or rather let Nicole do it for you, and this time I will not let you get away with that. I wouldn't do that. And you know what? I can see why Carmen's casting around for new friends when the ones she has are just going around trying to get people to blow off her party. She's the main reason why I'm coming unglued, you know? She's a liar. She's the liar. She's turning me into somebody I don't want to be. Uh, I was fine before she showed up. My dad and I used to be close, but he started seeing her mom, and now... And, oh. and now my mom and I barely even speak to keep her away from me, because I have officially snapped. The next time when I fight back, it's not gonna be with cupcakes. Oh, what are you gonna do, Brooke? Kick my ass with hair products? I'm sorry, you asked us a question? Yes. How did this begin? <laughs> oh, hey, Spam. Hey, Satan. 
Brooke, I'm so glad I caught you before you do the week's laundry over at your place. Miss Glass may think you're a paragon of virtue, but you should probably know your dad isn't. He left his shorts. Okay, Tippy Typewriter, you know what? I think it's time for a little celebrity death match. It's, it's okay, Nick. If you're referring to Friday night, I already know about it. What? No, you don't. I can't even get my mom to talk about it. Well, obviously, that's where our households differ. My father and I have an open and honest relationship when we tell each other everything. Mm -hmm. You know, honesty is a good thing, Sam. Expand your little paranoid world. Look into it. You know, I'd rather be paranoid than naive. Not to mention gullible. Problems, maybe? Good luck studying for bio, guys. Not that you'll need it. Wash them as much as you want. We both know they'll never be clean. I appreciate your Lady Macbeth tribute. But don't you ever get tired of hating me? Sometimes. But then I remind myself that you're a liar and that you and your father are ruining my life and that pretty much gets me right back on track. Sam, please don't run this article. Fine. I'll do that when you finally step up and admit to my face that you're a hypocrite and you cheated on the midterm. Okay. I cheated. And I'm a hypocrite. I'm not myself anymore. I haven't been since our parents got together. And this week, it was the worst. I saw your mom and my dad in my kitchen, and they had just had sex. Uh, I saw them doing it at my house, too. Did you feel betrayed? Yeah. I tried to study that night, and I couldn't. And then the next morning, I just felt all this pressure. And I cracked. And I broke into Nicole's locker, and I looked at the master for the bio test. <sighs> Nobody knows but you. Why are you telling me these things? You hate my guts. I guess in a strange way, you're the only person that really understands what I'm going through right now. Yeah. It's not so easy when you start losing respect for your parents, huh? Especially when they're the only one that you've got. I'm not gonna run that article, Brooke. You know what, maybe, maybe you should. Sam, I cheated and I deserve what I get. No. I don't think either of us deserve what we're going through. wrong about you. I'm really sorry. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Uh-uh. That lamp is but ugly. This lamp is a part of my history. I boycotted home economics in seventh grade for being gender exclusionary and wired it myself in shop class. Let me make it simple for you, Rumi. This lamp is going in over my dead body, okay? Well, fine. Glad to help you out. Hey, boys, back it up nice and slow. Brooke there's gonna lay under the back tires. Funny. <laughs> Get a room, Mom. Hey, Sammy. Cool lamp. <laughs> Brooke, honey. Okay, whatever. Why are you moving my stuff? Excuse me. 
The right sink is my sink. It has always been my sink. God, you are so rude. It's called boundaries. Look into it. The right sink is my sink, Princess Patterpuff. It was at my house. Wow, we're not at your house anymore. And that is my stress relief, sticky fingers. Oh, good God, woman, why do you need so many products? With all the lotions and potions you use, it's a wonder your face doesn't just slide off down the drain. and destroy my family, and have my father fold with your big brown Bambi eyes that you bat around like a stripper looking for tips. But this is one battle you are losing. This is the line of death. Cross it and die. You know, Saddam, I really feel no need to cross the line here. Really? And why is that? Because I'm getting the right sink. <laughs> but you know the thing about Homecoming Queen is the outcome is always such a joke. I secretly can't stand. Why do they compromise themselves? Ugh, the only reason she's doing Carmen's campaign is to get back at me. I guess it's not enough that she's a total sink terrorist. I have to admit it. Halloween, she was trick-or-treating as Princess Diana. Mm. Why don't you go as that year, Sam, the Bride of Frankenstein? Why are, are we, we doing, doing this? this? To establish some family history. <laughs> Daddy, boys are in there. Moving on, Dad, now. Okay, on to Sam. Oh. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can we, can we go back? I really mm -hmm. like the coming out of both ends <laughs> picture. Sam. Okay. Sam, I, I can't stop thinking about that cool lamp. Thanks. Um, I have an announcement to make. What, you're moving out? I... <sighs> can I have some privacy, please? <sighs> Sam, what are you doing? Luxuriating after a hard day of campaigning. You know what? I've had a really bad day, and um, I need to take a bath. Well, you're just gonna have to wait, princess. Okay. I want you to get out of my bathtub, clean up your nasty soap scum ring, and give me some privacy now. Sorry. First come, first serve. Why are you using my bath products, okay? And this is my towel. Chill, selfish one. I'll wash them when I'm done. You know what? There is not enough disinfectant in the world to shout you out. Oh. What are you doing? Let's just face it and grow up. You are not getting that sink ever. I mean, you must be having the time of your life living in my house, using my stuff. I mean, from where you come from, it's like moving into a four star hotel, huh, Sammy? It is, and I love the spa privileges. I'm shocked, Sam. There's no uh, negative campaigning, no damning editorials about my candidacy. What, is this the calm before the storm? Nope, I've just turned over a new leaf. I don't need to be bitter anymore. By being positive and upbeat, I am winning. Oh, and by the way, I heard about the chess club debacle today. Must be tough, huh? feeling your throne slipping away at school and here at home? Hey. Oh, okay. yes, but yes, I didn't... but what? I mean, why are we even trying this? I mean, this is never going to work. All of your high and mighty queenly behavior, you made the poster because you couldn't help getting right back down in the gutter where you feel comfortable. Is this a nightmare? Safe from the peroxide monster. Both of cool lamp. Why? Because I'm moving into the utility room with the washer and the grime. You both have picked your princess of the manor, so fine. You want to treat me like Cinderella? Get used to similar accommodations. Does it make you feel any different when you win Homecoming Queen? Actually, yeah, it does. Even if it's only for like a moment. But yeah. You're gonna wear that crown to bed, aren't you? <laughs> Actually, I wore this crown in here to give to you. So you could try it on. And the reason for that would be? Okay, look, this arrangement sucks, okay? I hate having you on my hair. And 
I know you hate having me in yours, too. <sighs> Did they not know that people our age are moody and need their space? Totally. I think the only way we're not going to kill each other is, um, I think we both have to get used to wearing the crown around here. And the sink? Oh. By now, it's the principle of the matter, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> so, what I thought we could do is this. Each Friday night from now on, we'll flip for it, and the winner will get it for that week. <laughs> okay, call it. Heads. Okay, fine. I'll move my stuff over to the bad sink tomorrow. Congratulations. Oh, and McPherson. Don't use my moisturizer. I mean it. The internet, please be one of those parents. I, because one of you, and I'm not pointing any fingers. <clears throat> now, I thought that it, it's even worse. I mean, I, I can't flip on the radio without hearing that new lollipop song. It's really happening? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I knew all about the hot. Regard this as a privilege. The guest. Life is inch until it seeps into your pores and suffocates you, or you can face the. Hey, everything okay? What? Just asking. Well, don't. Okay. Ah, oh, Sam. Hey, now that we're living together, can you do me a tiny favor? Please don't leave your wishful thinking sexual aids lying around. Parents always find them, and then there's always the big talk. I mean, you may need it, but it's old hat to me. What are you insinuating, Brooke, that I need the education? Please, I'm more than informed. I actually wasn't insinuating anything other than the fact that you don't have a boyfriend. You know, I may not have a boyfriend, but at least I don't have an empty relationship. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? It doesn't take a genius to figure out that you and Josh are the menudo of couples. Totally interchangeable. For your information, old maid, we connect on every level. <laughs> hey, Sammy, when's the last time you even went out on a date? Not exactly a real and a min, are you? Trust me, if I wanted to, I could bring home a boyfriend in a second. Hey, sis. I got this great idea. You up for a little bet? Lady Luck's firmly on my side. Great. You have, by the end of the week, to prove to me that you can turn a guy's head and land a boyfriend. And you can't pay for him. Fabulous. And you have, till the end of the week, to prove that you and Josh are more than just the jock slash cheerleader couple standing on shallow ground. <sighs> How am I supposed to prove that? How about debuting him somewhere other than the football field or your bedroom? <laughs> You're on. Oh! And to make it worth my while, the loser has to publicly and horrifyingly join knees together. But that's the abstinence club. Only sexual literates are in that club. Fitting for you, don't you think? You're on. Josh, what are you doing here? Um. I swear to God. Who's that? Uh, the Foo Fighters. He's cute. Um, can I have some of this? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hey. I always suspected you were part camel. I worked out, Brooke. You know, you should try a little exercise. Other than your empty thigh master presses in the backseat of Josh's car. Hey, girls. Jade. You know, if um, if, if you have to be somewhere, uh, I don't. Because you, you didn't have to come with me. It's fine, really. You looked like you didn't want to do this alone. I've handled much bigger stuff than this by myself. Really? Like what? I'm gonna go get a soda. You want? No, thank you. Yeah, 
every year. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do the same thing. My friends wake up, spend Christmas Day with their families, and then come to our house at night to eat and disappear. Sam, you can leave. Josh will take me home. I don't think I've smiled since last Thursday. <laughs> Forgot I had teeth. <sighs> Sam, um... Look. You're welcome. Now you expect my heart to. You know, um, despite the hell of living with you, I'm. Me too. Here. What is it, a bomb? No, I bought you a little gift. Merry Christmas. That's so sweet. Here, got you one too. Wow. Oh. Shall we? Radiohead concert tickets? Sam, that's so great. Well, they're one of my favorite bands. I thought you might like them too. No, I, 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 I do. Thanks. Boom. <laughs> What's this? You know, when we had to go to dinner for Jane's birthday and they made us pose and smile like a family. Yeah, I hated that night. Yeah, me too. But, um, I really love that picture. You look really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, 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 no. Today. Wow. Brooke. Oh, congratulations, Sam. Thank you. What? Um, wow, that, that's, that's so flattering. Thank you. <laughs> wow, okay, um, Jamie, yeah. right? <clears throat> right, yes. I couldn't decide which... So, um, I... For my dreams, what is pro... Thanks. See you in court? Yeah, I'll see you in court. Your Honor, objection! What does school spirit... I'm loaded today. I can't even set my pants up. Me neither. I'm retaining so much water, I feel like I'm carrying an aquarium around in my pocket. Oh, well, hey, check this out. What? I was at the health food store with Lily this weekend buying cruelty-free eyeliner, <laughs> and I found this new herbal remedy. Lady. Hey. Is it me, or has the whole hatred thing between our two groups reached an all-time high? It seems like until recently, we stirred things up and they just followed our hideous examples. Well, sis, I think today we should let the girls know that it's the dawning of a new era and call a total detente. Yeah. You know, actually, I think that if we just got them all into one room and communicated, we could all be great friends. Don't you think? to do is I want you to write down your deepest, don't sign your name, put it in. It's locked. Oh, you are such a whip. It's not locked. Okay, it's locked. Okay. Before it gets around that I was in a room this long with you on popular hags, my social rep will never recover. Nicole. I have to say, I've thought about it. Thank you for not going over the line. Lord, I've trying to get comfort. Look at the mirror. If you...
punishment. For the most popular scenario has a scripted response readily available. Since I've already gone through the training, I'll show you the ropes. Let's do this first one together. Okay. This one. Yes. Here, Hotline, we care. Yo, do you have Prince Albert in a can? Sugar Daddy, stop cranking us. Yo, how'd you know it was me? Yo, I don't know. Oh, give me that phone. Sugar, you leave poor Brookie alone. Now that she's dumped Nick as her best friend, she needs her private time to reflect on her new independent lady life and the air maze riding saddle I gave her this morning. Hey, Mary Cherry, now that I've got you on the line, um, I don't have a horse. All in time, new best friend for life. All in time. Bye, hun. See you at lunch. Your hotline, we care. I don't know what to do. I just can't take it anymore. Just relax, we're here to help. I can't sleep, I can't eat. School's become a never ending nightmare. Okay, what's going on, tell us. I'm being tortured. Today I was called a, a Rose of Sharon. Yesterday it was morning glory. The day before, daffodil. Okay, um, what part of this botanical torture do you find so unbearable? Don't you get it? It's not about the flowers. This person is insinuating that I'm gay. If I was, I'd laugh it off, but I, I'm not. And now everyone thinks I am. It, it's like my choice has been taken away. Uh, look, we can stop him. Just tell us who it is. We can go to Principal Hall and- I'm not gonna narc, no way. That'll just make it worse. I, I feel so trapped. Something. I don't know. I knew this was a bad idea. It's hopeless. Uh, I'm just not sure how much longer I can go on. Okay, okay, but- Pierce voice, he was terrified. Can you believe how cruel cool guys are? God, does testosterone erode brain cells? You know what it is? It's just obviously some sick, insecure, self loathing loser. And besides, I feel hypocritical enough as it is. I know you may have done some pretty heinous things in your time but I doubt sadistic homophobic outbursts are among your crimes. Ignoring them is. Look, I can't help thinking that I could have somehow stopped this. Brooke, we have an obligation. Freddie called in anonymously, remember? He doesn't want to come forward, so how can we make that choice for Look, him? I... <sighs> Pure hotline, we care. Um, hi. I'm calling because I've been sexually harassed by boys at this school. I've received lascivious stares, lewd comments, and unwanted touches. Lily, is that you? Yeah. Miss, why are we sitting with Mary Cherry? Lil Lily. But I hold no grudge, student advisor at the sensitivity camp. But to make sure that this new program is effective, I'll need a partner. Look, I've got a serious feminine eye. Doing this would make us, like, best friends. <gasps> a girl should be able to wear whatever she we do! You know what you're saying? Oh, hey, don't turn it off. I like it. You make it look fun. You know, it's been oddly liberating for me to fail. I can check some things off my list now. I'm not a model. I'm not a cheerleader. <laughs> I'm not a girlfriend. What can I be? Uh, I heard about the random drug testing. Brooke McQueen's donor check. The bong was planted. By Adam. It doesn't add up. You were so supportive of him being on the squad. Why would he turn on you? It makes no sense. I know. What are you gonna do now? I thought you really did look pretty in that picture I took of you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she kept modeling another world. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a hairspray kind of a gal. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I do want to escape this high school hell. Tell me about it. But I think I should start a little bit more locally. You know Cranky's, that cool new music store? Yeah. They're accepting applications, and I think yours truly is going to apply. Cool. Hey, you guys know something? What? Well, I believe that this is the first time that all of us from different groups have sat around together eating pie. You know what, Lily? You're right. I'm gonna document this moment.
thought you had a plane to catch. Yeah, and the magazine folded at noon today, so they canceled the campaign. I'm sorry. Stupid Bill. Come bearing gifts. Within two hours of my posting my butterfly barrettes and was homecoming queen. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? <clears throat> no, no. They're really cute together, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, Mickey's found his mini. <laughs> no talking, people! Help you not be a 5.30 a.m. Yeah, uh, to Cranky's. Well, you got all dressed up to visit Sam? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I'm gonna meet someone. One who's confused. Hi, um, this is Lily from Kennedy High. I need to speak to Gary, please. Gonna alien. Totally. Good morning. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm a conscience, fine, fine. As a man, when you hear that another man in a skirt, no less, is teaching your daughters, it's a, it's a little threatening. Oh, it's wrong? <laughs> Who are we to judge that? You know, we had this exact same conversation with our parents that we are now having with our daughters, only the table and your grandfather's house, because he referred to a bl No, what this situation is about. Jane, why did you color your hair? Oh, well, um, I just wanted to change. Brooke, you know, I mean, Sam did it, and she she looks so spunky. I thought, you know, what the hell? And I and I like it. I mean, I I feel Dad, what is up with the do? What? Oh, my hair. I, I just thought I would try to live life from a Latin perspective. <laughs> Your earned points in heaven by allowing... <clears throat> Switch to decaf, Brooke. Or are you a buzz about finding out your new naturally selected grade? Oh, Sam, I would jump at the chance to go from an A to an A+. I pulled an all-nighter last night. I didn't even get a chance to get it gussied up in a special binder from Kinko's. Not that I need it that thorough. Disappointed in you, McQueen. Brilliant work, McPherson. <laughs> oh, blondes do have more fun. You know, Sam, good for you for going back to your natural brunette color. I like it. I guess tonight's bowling victory proved that it really is character and a winning spirit that determine our fate, not our hair color. I was wrong. No, you weren't. Look, you were onto something about our school. And I hate to say it, our society. In fairy tales, blondes always get the edge. I mean, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty. And I think the same thing happens to me, just because of the way I look, which I don't like. So you're staying brunette for a while? What, are you crazy? <laughs> so look, about this upcoming wedding. Yeah, there is no way in hell I'm legally becoming your sister. So we have three weeks to stop it, break them up, and get out of each other's lives for good. Three weeks and I cannot believe our parents are getting married. When they stand up at that altar and say, in sickness and in health till death do us part, they're talking about us too. I know, which means that you'll forever be standing in my blonde cheerleading shadow for all eternity. Never victorious, always overlooked and underappreciated. I'll go open the gate. dinner before it gets cold. Sam, there's something I need to talk with you about. Sam, we're, we're going to have to sell the house. Really, Brooke? Why is that? It's our investments. They, they've gone mad. Oh, no, you're a liar, Brooke. You've always been a liar. You think anything happens in this house I don't know about? And I know you're just trying to sell this house so you can put me in a home. Sam. There are many nice nursing homes for failed teenage journalists. Oh! Oh! 
I call the shots around here, Brooke. It's not like it was in high school. You wouldn't be able to treat me this way if I wasn't in this chair! But you are in that chair, Brooke! You are in that chair! By the way, we've got rats in the cellar. Enjoy. I'm driving this old Cadillac and I ran you over. Okay, I had the same dream. Look, I think we're at a point subconsciously where our safety is at stake. And we can't get to a point where we're gonna kill each other. We have to stop this wedding. I've been thinking and I've come across an interesting plot. <gasps> Spill. Yeah, Mom, I'm, I'm fine. I'm really, I'm fine. Oh, really. good, because I am going to kill you. So where'd you go? Hmm. Nowhere, really. Just trying to figure some things out. I feel horrible. <laughs> I know, but at least by using all the money set aside for the wedding and the honeymoon, Mom was able to bail Mike out of county lockup. But how great is it that Cherry Cherry stepped up to the plate when she heard what happened and offered to pay for everything as long as it could be a double wedding? Thus, sort of eradicating us of our crimes. Although why she did it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. Brooke, she did it because she's embarrassed of Mary Cherry. She figures maybe in a large setting, no one will notice it's her daughter. Even though Mary Cherry's psychotic, I do feel for her. At least she has a mother. So do you, Brooke. Her name's Jane McPherson, soon to be McQueen, and she loves you very much. I know I haven't been too good at sharing up until this point, but I'd like to start trying. I'd like that. I never thought I'd say this. But I'm really glad that you're back. You see, guys, you see how nice lunch can be when we all just do a big deal about this wedding? I mean, well, it's... Uh, Brooke and Spam and the unloved alternate groups. Got it? Nicole, please. We can't go on like this, okay? We're scaring small children. Give us our wigs. God. Pretty, aren't they? So lifelike. You know what I mean? We need that hair. You and Mary Cherry said you pitied us. Look, we will buy those wigs from you. You gave Sam hers. Well, yes. That Sorry, guys, I needed hair. Brooke and Sam's parents occurs. Just think again, Madeline Mohawk. Bye. Okay, look, Nick, I don't want this. That was kind of harsh. Yeah, come on, Satan. Give them the wigs. You, Brooke, don't want spam to be yours. It's... I'm warning you right now, y'all. Don't add a minx to anally electrocute. Worse. Mama Cherry's marrying Eric Estrada. Do it. Okay, we're on. I told her to please come home early from work. There was a family crisis of paramount importance. Okay. You get the panties? Yep. And the slut bomb lipstick. Okay. Well... Men will often collect trophies of their conquests. That's a fact. Brooke, this is none of your business. This is between my mom and me. Yeah, and it would be so like you to implicate my father in one of your hideously filthy, muckraking exposés, wouldn't it, Sammy? You know what? I hate your gut. OK, we made it up. Brooke made me do it. What? I did not. Yes, you did. Yeah, Miss Brainiac, and we never will. You know why? Because you're stuck in that chair. And I got to take care of you. I could have been something. <laughs> God, stock much? Another nightmare? Yeah. Me too. Look, Brooke, we're going to have to be strong during this family counseling thing today. For the first time ever, we're going to have to put up a united front, or else this nightmare will be a lifelong one. Mr. Vincent. 
Hi, oh, Dad, Jane, this is Mr. Vincent. He used to teach drama at our school until he had to resign for psychiatric help. Which Dr. Pud Merkin has so wonderfully provided. Oh, no, 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 wait, Mr. Vincent, are you still teaching? Miss Vista. Why didn't she just hit me? Shouldn't Brooke's teen rage be directed against me? Yes, one would think. Brooke's act of aggression is interesting, though. Do you know what it tells me? That maybe Sam is the lone dissenter to this union of two households. Sam, true or false? False, Dr. Pudmerkin. Brooke and I both feel that we don't want to be adopted and that we don't want to be sisters. We just wanted to be a family, and we wanted... I wanted you to have a father. I already have a father. Or did you already forget him? If you hadn't noticed, you already have a daughter, too. Sam, adoption is not about erasing memories. It's about... It's about caring for you. It's showing you and Brooke that we love you enough to provide for you legally in case something should happen to either your mother or myself. It's not meant to be a threat. <sighs> Brooke, will you wake up and defend me here? <clears throat> Tell them we do not want this and we will not cooperate. I just, I keep thinking about what Harrison asked us in the cafeteria case for why we shouldn't be sisters. And we couldn't. Say in what our family is. I am 16, I am not five. If I'm gonna be adopted, I want a say, and I say, I don't want that. Well, I do want that. I've really come to love Jane. I mean, she's sort of filled a hole that I've always had in my heart. And I don't think of this, this wedding or this adoption as getting a mother forced on me because I think that she's become one naturally just by being who she is. So, Jane? Brooke. Ow! Sam! Brooke, Sam! Brooke, Brooke, Sam! Brooke, 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 we were on the same page with breaking our parents up once and for all. But I guess that was yesterday, huh? I never should have trusted you. You're just jealous. Jealous? You're trying to steal my mother. You're the one who's jealous. God, you know what? I'm not freaking out about my father wanting to adopt you. That's because I won't let him adopt me. As I keep pointing out, Brooke, I already have a father. Thank you very much. And you have a mother, so leave mine alone. Your father didn't walk out on you, Sam. I am sorry that he died. But God, at least you know that he loved you. How would you feel if just one day your mom was gone? If she just left without even saying goodbye and you woke up to find out that you were no longer loved, that maybe she never loved you? That's me, Sam. And you're wrong. I really don't have a mother. He's something. We have one minute left in this class, and we need to get our final grades so we can skip off to skip day at Magic Mountain. Right. Um, Miss, Miss Glass. Focused class ever. Stay rug out from under you, you would have had time to come up with such a good menu for the rehearsal dinner tonight. Oh, thanks, Brooke. Let's make a pact. We make this dinner a perfect night to remember, with no glitches and no problems. A perfect launch for their new life together. Hi, Brooke. Oh, hey, what's up? I was wanting to return it when I'm done. Okay, sure. <laughs> We have been through a lot this year. Shut up. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. You're like one of those typical TV show couples that breaks up, gets back together, uh -huh. breaks up, and gets back together one last time on the last show, strictly for promotional sweeps purposes. I know. Petty differences aside, and learned at long last to be sisters. Their journey was so drawn out and laborious that many. Good eyes that. Then the wedding. Peace and quiet, how I've earned it, how I yearn for no disasters, no hardships, just quiet grace. Don't think I'm not like you, I long for quiet too.
This is how we we need count us in, but we can't be very long. We have to go grocery shopping. Nurse Jessie. And Sam for throwing this rehearsal dinner. We're long, and now suddenly you're so into it. Nope, I didn't meet anybody. Guess I'm just growing up, that's all. <gasps> Brooke, thanks for letting me come to your rehearsal dinner. I hope I am not in your way as you prepare for the feast. Mm. Uh, May, I'm a little confused here. My make dreams come true wish is very clear and simple. As an unfortunate child, I am allowed one dream request. And your dream come true request was to spend it with me and be involved in our family's wedding festivities? Yes. Before my time is up, I just, I just want to know what it's like to be popular. Brooke! Yeah, Mary Cherry, put her finger in the fridge. Bring me Diet Coke. No, whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Nurse Jessie killed her, and now she's gonna pin the dirty deed on us. You guys, take her out of here. She's gonna ruin the rehearsal dinner, and I know I'm gonna be blamed for everything. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a freight train. It's the sound that happens right before. Face it, the wedding is off, and we are gonna go to jail. No, wait, wait! Hi, Avery's the Glass Sisters residence. Remember your flu shot and make sure- We're open and send her away. Where is the doctor? Calling Ripley's Believe It or Not, why? Okay, great. Where's Miss Glass?